Shalom everybody, I am back. Torah Chef here, Greg. I am, uh, we're gonna make some tacos today. Actually, we're gonna make a Mexican beef stew and we're gonna turn that into the best tacos you've ever had. Uh, they're hot, they're trendy, you see them all over the, uh, the food channels, uh, but you're gonna learn how to make them today. They're clean, they're delicious, so come on in. Let's uh, stop talking and start making some food. All right, so here we are. Here is uh, the ingredients we're gonna start with. Uh, below, if you check in the description, I'll have all the ingredients. Uh, the first thing we need to do is build this wonderful beef stew. Uh, it's a Mexican type stewed uh, simmered beef. It's cooked down until all this uh, tissue and stuff is shreddable. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this burner on. And uh, I'm gonna use the Instant Pot to do this just because I wanna eat this in the next hour, or hour and a half to show you all. Uh, but this is something you can do in a Dutch oven or uh, you know in a pot on a stove or even in the oven. Okay, so what I have here, um, I have a little bit of uh, a dark stock. Um, now this is uh, actually a roasted uh, turkey stock. You can see how kind of gelatinous it is. Uh, and it has a little fat on there. The fat is good. We want fat in this. Um, but beef stock would be my recommendation since I have this beautiful homemade collagen stock I'm going to use it. We're going to add some water to it as well. That's a quart of water. Uh, this is a chuck. Uh, short rib is ideal. Brisket's good. Any cut of meat with some fat but most importantly um, with large uh, tissue, large fibers is going to work really really well for this. Um, so. I'm, a, I'm using a chuck roast right now. It's a, it's a pretty ideal cut. Uh, so the spice line up here, we're gonna use uh, some cumin. I have smoked paprika. I have ground black pepper, oregano, chili powder, cocoa powder, and then this is some guajillo chili uh, that I've made into a, uh, a flakes. If you have whole guajillo chilies, that'll be fine. Just make sure you take the seeds out. That is actually more ideal, but this is what I have on hand. And then we're gonna use about a third a cup of uh, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. And these are diced. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in the pan, heavily salt and pepper. Now one other thing I'm not showing here are um, about four cloves of garlic and one diced onion one diced yellow. So salt and pepper this fairly liberally. Get it in a hot pan. We'll just let this guy heat up for a second. And go ahead and give it a sear. There we go. Well that's searing. We'll go ahead and get a an onion chopped up and be right back. Um, the reason I sear this is because I want that my yard that that browning to happen, and my yard simply is a kind of chemical physical reaction that adds that browning, that kind of savory umami flavor. Uh, and that's going to really help build the depth of this sauce. Uh, so what I'm going to do now that this is nicely seared on both sides, I'm going to throw this in the instant pot. Um, if you have a Dutch oven. Go ahead and use that and, and do the whole thing in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about four cloves of garlic and one onion. Uh, I use a red onion because that's what I have, uh, but white onion is, is ideal, red onion's fine. And I have one rib of celery and one carrot. Now the carrot's diced fairly fine. Um, the carrot is going to add flavor and a little sweetness, but I also don't want chunks of carrot in this. Um, I want it to kind of dissolve soft. So uh, we'll turn that up a little bit. And be uh, generous with the oil. Um, use a, uh, a relatively neutral oil. Um, unless you have a fattier meat like brisket, because you're gonna see why we need a layer of fat on this broth later. Um, basically because we're gonna be frying the tacos in the fat from this very flavorful uh, stock soup braise. So we really just want to get this um, get this sweated down a little bit until it just gets a little translucent. Um, we'll go ahead and add all of our spices. Give them a little bit of time cooking. That is going to be a flavor bomb there. Now you can add more chilies. 
hot pepper. I actually have a ghost pepper over there that I grew that I'm thinking about throwing in here. Um, but for this purpose, we'll just keep it as is. Alright, so we've got some nice color there. I'm going to add a little bit of the water just to deglaze the pan. One other ingredient I didn't mention that's optional. I have about a cup of beer here. It's just American lager. Um, you don't have to put that in there. Uh, but the more flavors that you add to this, I think the better. Sure, for about 45 minutes and then check it. It'll probably need another 30 minutes after that. So I will uh, come and check back around with you all around the, uh, around the 40 minute mark. And we'll take a look how it's doing and then we'll assess how much more time we need. Now normally if you're doing this on a stove top, you want to turn the heat down low, cover it and cook it until just to a light simmer. So a low to medium low heat and it's going to take about three hours. All right, so here we are after an hour. You see it's tender, but it's just not quite falling apart. So we're going to let it go for another 40 minutes or so. I think it'll be perfect, but look how rich that broth is. That fat cap on top, we're going to need that. That we'll see in a little bit. All right, here we are. We're back. We're going to assemble this taco. What I have, I have some of the, uh, this uh, birria, this beef that's been braised in this liquid. Also have a nice warm side of uh, hot liquid that's for consuming with the tacos. We have uh, some corn tortillas, soft, uh, this is yellow corn tortilla. If you can make them yourself, it's even better. And then I have some, uh, some Mexican uh, cheese. It's similar to mo uh, mozzarella. It's like a string cheese, a Oaxacan cheese. Uh, that we're going to use in this and then I have some of the rendered oil already in this pan that I've heated so what we're going to do is one we're going to get this uh, these tacos kind of nice and wet with the oil and then we're going to add this warm this warm beef to this and the cheese as well and you're really making almost like a corn uh, quesadilla you don't need a whole lot of cheese because that's going to cook for a while in there and it's okay to get a little extra liquid in there it's all all good stuff so we'll bring this front and center so you can see what's going on here and you want to do kind of a you're frying it you're frying it in this fat and in this juice and these spices so that you get this beautiful color on your taco So as the liquid evaporates a little bit and the fat melts in with the tortilla, you get a, a juicy, crispy, super flavorful taco. And it's really probably the best taco I've ever had when it's done correctly. So don't worry about that. We'll let it patch up on its own. You really want to warm these shells up so that they don't break up like that before you add all the fillings. But I do get impatient sometimes. So here we are. I didn't want to cheat you out of the whole process here. Um, but this is, this is what we're looking for. A little crispiness happening on the exterior there. We're gonna flip it every few minutes. It's gonna get a little darker. It's gonna get some browning in there. Some of this cheese is gonna melt out, which is totally fine. You'll see how that plays out in the end. Um, but you really wanna make sure that you keep, you move this around a few times. Um, we're almost there. We got about another minute to two minutes on each side. So we'll see you on the plate up. For beef tacos birria with uh, consomme. Um, this dish without the taco shells and without the cheese is just fantastic alone. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of people saying, well, I, my mother or my aunt or my sister or dad, whoever doesn't do it the same way. Uh, this is just an easy way to do this. It's a roadmap for you to be able to do something that seems complicated. Yes, it takes time, but it's simple. Um, so, you know, throw, throw the, all the stuff in your crock pot and let it go. And then when you get home, you've got this beautiful broth, you have this meat, couple of tortillas and cheese and you have a five minute dinner. Of course, you know, I have some black beans here on the side as well. So let's get into this. I want to give this a little taste um, just to see if it deserves that shofar blast, which I mean, let's be honest, it does. So, but I'm going to taste the, uh, 
I taste this one right here. I mean, you just see that cheese pulling and the meat inside. Um, it's really one of the most pleasurable things to eat. Mm. My goodness. It's hot. It was tasty. Then you dip it in the consomme. And that just brings it up another level. All right. That deserves two shofar blasts. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Shalom.